Good afternoon. Hello. God is good. And all the time. Very good. Brothers and sisters, allow me to bring you to a situation, to a place where our Jesus Christ is crucified. The place is called the skull or Golgotha. There you can find our Lord Jesus Christ crucified on the cross. You can see two criminals, dalawang magnanakaw, dalawang kawatan, one at the right and one at the left. Many people are there watching our Lord Jesus Christ crucified on the cross. Many of them are Pharisees, Sadducees, chief priests, and scribes. They shouted at him. They mocked at him. They threw a lot of inventives to them. They blasphemed him. And our Lord Jesus Christ looked at him. Look at them. He was still conscious. He looked at the people with love. And then he raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. Father, ignore el yes. Believe that our Lord Jesus Christ is in your heart, in my heart. And he is asking us two questions. One question is, who do you think you are? Can you forgive your mortal enemy? Can you forgive the person who hated and whom you hated so much? The next question is, who do you think I am? Can I forgive the people who made my life miserable? Brothers and sisters, I am Tim Acedo. I am the president of a multinational logistic corporation. I'm the president of a non-governmental organization and a vice president of a multinational holding company. In the academy, I'm teaching in the graduate school, international financial management, and international managerial accounting. In the academy, and in the corporate world, they call me Dr. Tim. But now and forever, I would like you to call me Brother Tim Acedo. Now, I grew up with my Lolo and my Lola. My Lolo was so cruel, was so crazy and a little bit stupid. Why? for a minor offense that would lead me to a strong whipping, an intense whipping of a branch of a guava tree to the point that my body is flooded and my body was immune to pain. And then one day, I believe that the Lord Jesus Christ was with me from the very beginning because I graduated elementary grade as valedictorian and right after graduation, my Lolo called me and said, son, come here. I have something to tell you. I am dying. Sabi ko sa sarili ko, tuloy mo na. Tuloy mo na. Para mahinto yung paghihirap ko. But then he continued, my son, you are not my son. Listen to this. You are the son of my daughter who became pregnant by a son of our mortal enemy. I tried to abort you, but I failed and you came up. I tried to hide you, and we were successful. The father and mother in your birth certificate are not your true father and mother, and you could never see them in all of your life. I would not know whether you can see your father and mother in your lifetime. Then he told me, I failed. I was looking for your demonium ama for the purpose of killing him because he hum humiliated the reputation of our family, but I failed. Then, a moment later, say, do me a favor. 
please look for your father and kill him. That was a devastating moment. I wrapped up my clothes and went away. I went to the city in Mindanao. There I was there in the street, selling newspapers, signing shoes, sometimes sleeping in the pavement of the street and in the park until one day a good Samaritan told me, okay, you can go to high school and I will sponsor you. I graduated high school as valedictorian. I went to college as a scholar and I graduated with honor. And here it comes. In the hospital, the attendant told me that a woman, that a man would like to visit me. The man came into the room. I could not recognize him, but he said, son, forgive me. Forgive me, my son. What can I do but to say leave the room before anything would happen to both of us? Days later, a woman came into the room and said, forgive me, my son. He was my mother. What I did, I have to pack my things and went to Manila. I was employed with the Japanese corporation. After one year, I took the certified public accountant examination and I passed. I took the Master's of Business Administration in one of the best schools in Manila with thesis. I took up my doctorate degree, Doctorate of Business Management. Then I was employed. A Japanese told me, here is a businessman who would like to have a business here in the Philippines. And the business was illegal importation of chop chop cars. We just have a lot of money. I handed millions of millions of money. And then I was engaged already with a lot of vices. I abandoned my family. I have a constructed separation with my wife. Then after that, the partner that I have knowingly during that time was a Yakuza. He just withdrew all the money and ran away leaving me and we closed the business. And another businessman, a Japanese, said, Tim San, I know that you are honest. Please help me put up an international club, entertainment club. Oh, I earn a lot of money from my salary. I earn a lot of money from commission, bar fines for ladies taken out of the club. Then the club graduated to a prostitution. Then the club, there were already a lot of party drugs. I took party drugs and my life has deteriorated until one day I had a dream and God said, get out of the club before it's stole it or you will die early. I get out of the club and it was during the time that my daughter would graduate in high school. And then my daughter said, I would not go back to the house anymore because our house is the house of Satan. My father is a demon. Then I told, why, have, why is it that you have to do this? Then my, my daughter said, Father, how many times you kiss me? How many times you hug me? How many times you embrace me? I don't like you. I, I have already decided to enter into convent and to become a nun to save the family. Jesus Christ, this is the fact of life. And I had a fatal accident. I survived when my head was bumped into a metal object. And my wife has been diagnosed with a kidney problem. And he's now there going in dialysis at this very moment my wife in the hospital. And I have to thank the Lord that my daughter is now a doctor attending to the needs of my wife. Mommy, I see you later. But we have a mission. A mission to praise the Lord and a mission to be with the Lord. And then God said, for every time you commit mistakes, have a courage to ask forgiveness. Because God the Father will forgive you and forgive your sins. And the Lord said, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. Father, ignore Elias, Ked, Nation, Ked, Passion. 
Let's glorify the Holy Trinity by saying, all together, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever, shall be world without end. Amen. Palagpakan po natin ang dakilang Ama, ang ating Isu Kristo, Jesus, Panginoong Diyos, ang ating Espiritu Santong Diyos, at si Mama Mary at the Holy Family. Thank you, and God bless us all.